if I didn't just turn your mind to mush, let's talk intense. Intense lets activities launch each other. In plain English, it's how we change from screen to screen in Android apps. In our case, we want main activity to launch our line activity, and we want it to send our pickup line along for the ride. To do this, make a new method called sendLine outside of our onCreate method. We'll make it private, and it won't return anything, so type is void. Private means that only this main activity class can use this method. Inside this method, we'll create a new instance of the intent class like this. Type intent, the variable, then the new intent. And we pass in this keyword, this, and the activity we want to launch as line activity dot class. A constructor lets you pass values into a class when you're creating a new object with it. What the hell is this? This is a common keyword used in OOP across many languages. It refers back to the class we're in. So in this case, the main activity class. So into this new intent, we're passing the activity we are currently in and the activity we are going to. Notice that when we create the new intent, we get an auto import of a new intent package too. But just creating this new intent object isn't going to get the job done by itself. We need to run the start activity method and pass this intent into it. That's what will almost get the ball rolling, but still one more step. See the method name sendLine is grayed out? Whenever you see that, it means the method or variable hasn't been used. In programming, you want to use all the methods and variables you create. Where do you think we should call this sendLine method if we want it to happen on a button click? In our callback, of course. Let's go into our callback method for our button. Instead of changing the button text, call the sendLine method to send us to the line activity. Let's emulate this sucker. And hot damn, we click the top button and it sends us to our line activity. Of course, the pickup line is still what it was when we created our layouts. What if we want to pass the pickup line we set in our main activity to our line activity? We can do that in the intent too, using the put extra method and pass in a key value pair. But make sure to add this before start activity or your intent won't get the data. Code in a method is run line by line from the top down. Let's say we want to pass the pickup line we defined earlier. Type intent, put extra, with the key value pair of pickup line and the variable pickup line. But Android Studio is like, no you didn't. What's the problem here? Variable scope is the problem. That first pickup line variable was defined within the onCreate method, so inside our sendLine curly braces, we can't access it. The curly braces create a separate variable scope, but we can pass sendLine as an argument, like this. Then we can pass the pickup line into sendLine in the callback method. In the next lesson, we'll show you how to access this extra data in the line activity class, and if you pass the quiz, you can access what's under this shirt.